Welcome to today's video, everybody. Today is the day that we surprise my wife with her dream car. May has no idea what is going on. In fact, yesterday she actually woke up with a cold, so we spent the whole day at home yesterday while she recovered. She has no clue. We're gonna go to the shop today. I told her I left like a hard drive and whatnot, so I just need to quickly duck in. Once I'm inside and the lights are all on and I got the camera set up, I'm gonna say, hey, I need your hand in here. Can you come in? Boom, that's, that, that's the plan, but she has no clue and once again guys this is her very first car and this is the car that she's been dreaming of getting so it's her dream first car if that makes sense and i know that a lot of you guys watching the channel you know what it feels like when you get your first car and then you probably also know what it feels like to get the car that you wanted the dream car that you wanted later on once you've worked hard for it but she's getting both of those things in one hit i can't spend too much time out here in the car because she's inside getting ready and she thinks that we're going to be going to an australian cafe to have like meat pies and coffee and stuff like that later on so um this is gonna be good. Starting off with the morning routine, getting some coffee. It's uh, pretty overcast today, unfortunately, but we're on our way to the shop. We're gonna go pick up some things, and then that's not what today's video is about. We're gonna be going to a really cool Australian cafe here in Japan. Wifey's putting her face on right now. I don't know how she does it. Hey, stop. <laughs> I think every guy's done that to their girlfriend or wife. Anyways, we're gonna get food, and we'll pick it up from there. We've just gotten off the main road about to pull into the shop. But there's a lot of car yards around our shop that are full of American cars. Like, look at all these Dodge vans. It's insane. Yeah, I kind of want one. You want one of those? Yeah. I don't even know what we'd do with it. They're so like, big. Camp stuff. And... GMC. When we turn uh, right up here near our shop, there's even another yard that's just full of like Mustangs and Camaros. Very weird. So I'm just curious if maybe we should do a video and go look at them all and yeah, we maybe should. we should try and like ask some of the salespeople like if they sell a lot of them too. Yeah. Cause it seems like uh, Yokohama is definitely like a pretty big hub for a lot of uh, people that like American stuff. Mm. I mean, obviously there's a lot of base activity in Yokohama. Yeah. There's a lot of bike shops here too. Yeah. That's I'm kind a, of tempted to go to the thrift mall. Go to the thrift again. mall again? Yeah. <laughs> Or you want to go here, Suzuki dealership. Oh, yes. It's such a pain, always. Driving past here. here? Look, that white one right there, that's the one you want, right? Uh, oh, the white, they got a yellow one! They got the yellow one! Isn't that the one you want? Yeah, I do. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy they but have they that. they don't have a price tag. No, maybe we should come back after we get that stuff on the shop. Do you want to just have a quick look? Or is it raining and you don't want to stop? I think we want to get you to the... Australian pipe prices. Oh, all right, we'll give it a miss then. We'll give it a miss for now. What's exciting, mate? Next week we have our lifts installed. That's true. Lifts are getting installed next week, which uh, is a game changer. Because then I can finally start making the content I've been dying to make. There is so much that's about to go yeah. down. And then more cars can fit in there. So more cars as well. We yes. Can buy two Swifts. Two Swifts. One for you, one for me. <sighs> so you don't screw up my car when i want to put something on there and you don't just change stuff like you've done to the fair lady i mean the fair lady was never your car i made that very clear it was just for you to practice driving manual it's all right when i finally get you a swift it'll be a hundred percent your car and i won't touch it i promise Pinky promise. I do need you to touch it a bit so that you can maintain the car. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, I'll just do the maintenance stuff. I'll check with you everything we do, all right? We're promising on that. All right, I got to duck inside real quick and then we're going to go ahead to the uh, the Australian um, cafe, right? What's yes. it called? Punk Doily. Interesting name for Australian <laughs> place. This did not go according to plan at all. She's coming. Where is she? Oh, here she comes, here she comes. What? Surprise!
catch. This is your new car. <gasps> oh my god, did you really? Yeah. <laughs> now do you know why I was like seeing if you were gonna come yesterday when you were when you had the cold and everything and feeling sick? Oh my god. <laughs> the only thing which which sucks, right? Is it doesn't come on like aftermarket wheels like TEs or anything. Oh, that's fine. We can... And it definitely needs a proper wash and like a clay bar and ceramic no wonder coating. You're like, no, it's okay. We don't want to film anything. <laughs> it's got sparkle. Yeah, it's got some uh, aftermarket parts. Um, actually, you need to just sit in there and feel the shifter. It comes with a bunch of parts on the back too. So whoever owned this um, was definitely into Swifts because he did a fair few mods for the, the Monster Sport Euro, the MSE guys. Uh, yeah, it's kind of all the way on the bottom. You just got to lift it up and slide forward. Also, <laughs> lift it, the pull, yeah, a bit more. Is that the far furthest it'll go? Uh -oh. Oh, oh. Hang on, hang on. I'll lift it, you slide yourself forward. There you go. Okay, that was too much. Yeah. <laughs> so, 80,000 kilometers. Yeah, the shifter feels great, right? So the clutch pedal is an MSE one and same with the shifter. It's a special shifter from MSE, which is that mo monster, um, monster brand uh, tuning company I was telling you about that's on the side of the Suzuki Sport dealership. How much money did you spend on this? Uh, yes. <laughs> I can kind of imagine how much you spent on it. Uh, not as much as you think, but, but a decent amount, yeah. Should I start it? Yeah, sure. So before it'll start, because it's push button, right? You need to have your foot on the clutch and the brake. Just like the keys. Yeah. Just make sure it's in neutral. It, yeah. And then you should be able to just push the button. Has a little bit of an aftermarket exhaust on it too. It's not too loud though. Uh, how do I do that? How do you do what? You can take your foot off the clutch now because you're in neutral. Yeah. You're so nervous you like completely forgot how to drive. How do I rev while stopping? You can take your foot off the brake because you're in neutral and the handbrake's on so you can just rev it. You want to go for a drive? With this? Yeah, it's got shock in until the end of next year. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> you're so happy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even expect it. <laughs> so this is payback for the GoPro. GoPro? What GoPro? The GoPro that you gave me went before we even started dating. Yeah, this is payback for that. <laughs> Don't cry! Not can I there? It's okay. You deserve this. All the hard work. <laughs> You're crying! Don't cry, baby! <laughs> we might need a moment, guys. <laughs> I feel like we accomplished something today. Definitely feels good. Do you need a moment to just like sit here and look at it or you good? You're literally hiding. <laughs> Oh, uh, you know you won when she's all emotional like that. You okay? Your cheeks hurting? Yeah. <laughs> oh man. This is going to be such a good car for you because there's so much you can do for just like learning how to work on cars, modify, maintaining, like basic stuff like polishing headlights, all that type of stuff. Mm. And the best thing is, is wait till you drive it in this form, it's actually fast. It's very zippy. It chirps like every gear when I shift and it'll go really? it, it, It's pretty, yeah, it's pretty quick. And then the best thing is, I already found full turbo kits for them. <laughs> and so many things that we can do. Yeah. Yeah. So this is gonna be a great little car. And what's so funny is after I drove this, I was kind of like, maybe I should get one of these for like time attack. Cause they're mm -hmm. actually really fun. Mm -hmm. So done there. Yeah. Wait till you drive it, you'll understand, but they're zippy. They're really fun. All right. It's already cool with the other games. Right? It's, it's kind of like Skittles. We got red, pink, and yellow. Yeah. It's like mom and dad and the child. 
and the child. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take a moment. May, what is the first thing we need to check when you get a new car? Engine oil. That's right. Let's go. <laughs> uh, let's make sure the fluids you. are good. I even need you to tell me. That's right. I, I, I remembered it myself. Good job. Where's Proud of you. Feel around. You'll get there eventually. There you go. Awesome. Find the stick. Where is the stick, actually? <laughs> yeah, it's up oh, there. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even know. Lift it up higher. Nice. All right, drop her. Perfect. All right, so this is a dipstick, but before we do, we need some paper towels. Yes, I know. Let's go. I'm not con. <laughs> Pull it out. Be careful. Yeah. Wipe it all off. Wipe it all off. Clean it first. Don't, like, wave it around because it may spray the oil everywhere, so just be gentle with it. Drop it back in. It's so hard to put it in. It's hard to put it in? In a hole. It's hard to put it in the hole? All right. Now let's have a look. Where's your oil level at? Okay, yeah, you got plenty of oil. Yeah, It's actually pretty clean, too. It's pretty Super fresh looking. Like, it's definitely, like, got some discoloration to it, but it's still kind of goldy. Yeah, so that's good. It means it's had an oil change recently. But we're obviously going to redo all of that, probably uh, first thing Monday. We'll do filter, oil, and just go over the entire car. Um, one thing as well is this, this actually comes with a new oil filter in the back. So, it's a fair few parts here that can come with the car. So we should probably pull these out. But yeah, see? Brand new oil filter here. So we can use that. Mm, headlamp bulbs, like there's, there's a lot of parts in here. Also the plastics are there too, so we can change the center console back to like an OEM style one if you want. But it comes with even new air filters and... Wow, this person was like... Yeah, no, they really looked after their car. And that's the old, that's the factory clutch pedal. Because you have a different clutch pedal. An upgraded one from um, MSE yeah, Monster. Really nice. Yeah. It's cool, right? We'll pull yeah. all that out, and then um, I guess uh, we'll let you take her on a maiden voyage. We gotta put gas in it too, that's important. Okay. And we need to de-sticker this thing. De-sticker? Yeah, so we need to get <laughs> me wearing the jump How are we gonna de-sticker that? I think that's a monster sticker too, right? I don't know, no, that's Monster, yeah, monster Ink. Monster I Ink. I guess, yeah. Because this is Monster Sport Europe, right? The MSE. Yeah. And that's uh, initial D. You saw the Evo with the big monster sticker on it, right? Hi, hi, Yeah, hi, same, hi, same hi, company. Wow. This is a good position. <laughs> the interior is, is really like nice, right? Amazing. Yeah. The only thing about the interior that bothers me is how the previous owner put this weird, like, like flocking here. This annoys me because that's not OEM. So it'd be cool if we could just get new OEM pieces for this to change oh, it. Stop being such a... It's fine. <laughs> You're just happy. Let's go drive. Come on. We checked the oil. We know she's good. Let's go. All right. So you just got to drive straight out here. All right. Your wheels are currently turned a little bit that way. So just slowly crawl out. And if you need to, you can go back a little. What'd you do? Why are the wipers on? What just happened? Oh, I just, this freaking pedal thingy just like. Oh, you smacked your leg on your. Yeah. And then my head. No, this is, oh. This is uh, other way. Steering. Yeah. It feels good. Just crawl a little, right? Don't forget to take your handbrake off. She's so flustered. All right, just go slow, okay? The clutch is pretty close at the start. Yep. You're good. Nice. Keep turning. You should be able to do this in one hit. Just don't forget, you know where the brake is, right? Okay. Looking good. Nice. You have no idea. A little bit further forward. You like this? Feel good? Yeah, the brake is a bit too sensitive. But you get used to it. Just different cars. Handbrake up, put it in neutral. All right, you're good. It's so good. All right, so now we can go to the cafe, but in this, it's so much fun. And you're driving, all right? No ifs or buts. <laughs> Let me close up and we'll go for a rip. You ready for this? I think so. Yeah? 
I think you got this. We just loaded in the Google Maps, we connected our phone via Bluetooth. You're ready to go. You nervous? You're about to drive on the highway, everything. Yeah, I haven't driven manual for a long time. But I did pretty well. All you the did? Day. I yeah. didn't stall. No, you didn't stall. So you got this. Alright. Let's go. Let's rip. Pray for me guys. Yeah, you good? Off to a flying start. Good job. Good job. The clutch in this feels amazing. Right? Oh Matte. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't put your foot down all the way anytime soon. It's so sensitive. Yeah, it's electronic sort of body. In these. Wait till we get on the open road yeah. and you open her up. It's nice. A little talky. You'll like it. I'm still on one. Yeah, you're still in first gear. It's all you need for this little road. I can't wait till they build the new road here and there's gonna be a much bigger main road. And look at you! <laughs> Trying not to distract her too much, she's focusing a lot on... Oh, did you just see that other one? Yeah. Did you Woo! see... That was another another, that was two, two yellow sports swifts! Oh, Where it's... are we going to Daikoku? Oh, I mean, you want to go tonight? Take your car? I don't mind. No, it's fine. I need my TE first. <laughs> How about, uh, if you want, we can mob together. I'll go in the 350Z and you can go in this. <laughs> oh, man. Guys. You have no idea how long I've been waiting for us to mob together to Daikoku in her car and my car. It's gonna be cool. So how do you feel knowing our conversation that we had literally at the front of this dealership? And yeah, now you're literally yeah. driving that car. <laughs> but the best thing is, is we paid half the price of what they're selling the same model car for here. Oh man, I love this. They have this crazy lift and they store we all their cars. We got it at the auctions. Yeah, we would have. Not... <laughs> You're not taking the extra fees off me. <laughs> it's so funny when May tries to talk smack. Uh... Give her a little paw, a little poom. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, wait till you do it in first. Just like straight off the bat in first. It's really punchy. Oh, shifting. Shift again, shift again, shift again. Successful, May? Yeah, it's really, really, really good. Really good, easy like to drive. I stall, I did hill starts. It was amazing. Yeah, I caught her looking back at the car too once she parked it and walked away. So proud moment. This building here, this red building, right, May? Yes. Is where the Australian cafe is on the second floor. It's also a church. Interesting. So there's a cross on the front, there's a cross up the top there. We'll, uh, we'll have to see what this food's like. This feels a little weird filming, but um, I guess old mate here is having a LAN party because there's an ethernet cable running in there. <laughs> so this is pretty cool. Um, we're literally on the top floor here, like the third level. That's the little cafe there. It's just like a little building they put on the side up here on the veranda. And then they built these stairs that take you to the roof. We're literally on the roof of a church right now. Oh look, mate, you can see your car. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> That's why I said it so it has a better view here. And then this is where we get to chill and hang out. Yeah. Even on a wet day, we're actually good up here. This is cool. It nice little wooden deck. Oh yeah, it is a bit wet up here. Wow. It is a bit wet. So good. Typhoon kind of yeah. got everything a bit damp, a bit moist. <laughs> Smells like pine timber though. Everything's been made from the home center, I think. That's so cool. I like that. This is awesome. Talk about like using the best of the space that you have. Oh, and the toilet's here. Yeah, that's the Huh. This is cool. Japan's so interesting with this stuff. So the place is called Punk Doily. As you can see, they've got meat pies, steak, steak and cheese, steak and pepper. They have sausage rolls. 
They got pork char shoe ones and miso lamb ones. That's cool. But yeah, these look all authentic. Yes. Two sausage rolls. Two sausage rolls. Lamington's two guys. Uh, and caramel slice. You, you don't get this here. Slice? Definitely. We're get, getting we'll caramel get slice. <laughs> <We're sp> the <laughs> Lamington's and the $10 caramel pie. Slice. It's worth it. It's a specialty. <laughs> we got a steak and pepper meat pie. We ordered some sausage rolls. He's making them now, fresh. We need about 20 minutes. This all cost us like 40 bucks, but it's worth it. Yeah, you gotta explain what uh, steak and uh, steak and cheese. Ah, uh, no, no Which steak, steak, and, steak pepper and pepper is for all the American viewers. It's a meat pie with chunks of steak, like as if someone just went and got like a really nice like like sirloin steak or a fillet, and they cut it up into chunks and they put it inside the pie with pepper, black pepper, and like gravy. It's amazing. Okay. Then we got Lemmingtons and caramel slice. This is all Australian food. Like I could go to my local bakery in Australia and get a lunch like this, cost you like five bucks. Well now, because of inflation, it's probably like 10 bucks, but back when I used to actually do this, mm. that's how much it was. Okay. It looks really, really good. It does. It's also probably gonna be burning hot, but. Taste mm. of home? Yeah. Look how much he's like digging into it. Let, let us see mm -hmm. the inside. It's hard to see, but. Oh, there you go. Look at all the steak in there. Yeah, it's really good. Very good. Very hot. <laughs> but good. Yeah, part one is done. Just waiting for a sausage roll. Mm. Sausage, sausage rolls. rolls, fresh out of the oven. They're a bit too hot though. So but what's in a sausage roll? It's a sausage. <laughs> no, it's like pork beef, like minced. They normally put like breadcrumbs and stuff in there as well. And then it's wrapped in pastry and baked. Mm. What's mm -hmm. in there? Mm. In there. It's probably the best, like, probably the closest thing to authentic like Australian New Zealander food that I've found here so far. Mm. For sure. Like pie face used to exist here. I think they all closed down, but that was weird. They never sold tomato sauce with their pies though. So it was odd. <laughs> but they had 4X and VB in the fridge. So it made no sense. Anyway. It's not just because you're from Brisbane or? No, no, that's like a well-known thing. Australian New Zealand. Okay. You can never have enough tomato sauce on a meat pie. Mm, yeah. You happy? Yeah, very happy. I I'm content. A, I got a car, you got an Aussie pie pie. Yeah, I think that was a fair trade. And a sausage roll. Very fair trade. <laughs> <laughs> well guys, I'm calling that a great success. Don't you think so, May? Yeah. You got I'm a glad. car, I got some meat pies and a sausage roll. I'm happy. We're and now happy. I get to drive the car home. Yes. And now I'm going to show you how to really drive the Swift. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be good. How do you like the car? I think it's great. I've already had some fun. I've already chirped wheels and everything in it from the one I test drove it out of the auction. <laughs> this car's like, it's, it's Swifty. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Like it's, it's, it's pretty zippy. Maybe I'll call it the Swifty Chan. Swifty Chan? Yeah. Oh my God. We could call it Taylor Swift. No! <laughs> you know, I'm gonna. May hates Taylor Swift. Like you know, I passion. on my spot Spotify, I have her on the list where I don't want. Like her. not interested list. Not interested <laughs> list. Taylor Swift blocked. <laughs> I'm sure she's not the four percent that watch my channel, but if she is, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, Tashkadi. Their their fans are called Swifties or something. Okay, I'll yeah. No, yeah. no, that not that name. That's right. Okay, right? we're on the highway soon. So let's see. I can't drive it oh, like Santos. Oh, you want Santa's. me to do a pole? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> ah, you're gonna break my car! No, I'm not. It was meant to be driven like this. It's a Swift Sport. And now we 
just cruising. This thing drives so well. Like, it's so smooth. The yeah. suspension, it's not like stock car suspension. It's definitely got it's like upgraded shocks and springs probably because it's a sport model. But it drives so well. Mm. The input from the steering as well is great. I love how this car feels. Mm. Shifting too, like this shifter is amazing. Yeah, yeah. And then the foot pedal next to the clutch, it's, uh, it's, it's part of the upgrade kit that comes from Monster. And it's like, it brings it forwards and it's like a stunt peg. We'll show you later when we get to the shop. It's literally like a bike stunt peg down there. And it means that your foot is like parallel and level with the clutch pedal. So it's so easy to just move your foot over to the clutch. Mm. It's great. Yeah. It feels good. It, yeah, it feels really nice. Even for me, it's like, I don't feel like I'm going to kill myself like on the Z. <laughs> the Z is definitely a lot talkier than this for sure. Yeah. I mean, it's a V6. After, after your, your drift spec upgrades to it, it was like, from first to second, it's like... <laughs> Oh yeah, it's a lot more like power and torque to the ground. Yeah. Because it doesn't have that torque, um, uh, what do you call it, a flywheel. Yeah. Um, oh, what's it called? Uh, dual mass. It doesn't have yeah, a dual, dual mass, mass flywheel. Yeah. So like more torque is like initiated right off the bat yeah. the moment the clutch engages. Yeah, but this car is amazing. Like, I haven't stalled it yet. It's like no, really, she's done really, really well. like smooth. Yeah, it's a great car for you. It's perfect. It's exactly what you needed. Yes. Thank you. No worries. Definitely uh, got enough brownie points for a couple of years now, I think. No, you said it was a payback from the GoPro I bought. So. Okay, GoPro's $800 back then. This is a lot more than that. <laughs> but no, I'm just, it's fine. I'm just joking. <laughs> oh, now we've made each other cry with surprises. So yeah. I think it's good. It just took me like seven years. But hang on, what GoPro did you buy me? The Hero 7? It was. Yeah. It was the Hero 7. So seven years later, I returned the favor. I wish I could say I, it was meant to be like that, but it was not. I did not think that through at all. But that's kind of cool now. It is. Uh, they do say that good things come every seven years, right? Yes. Uh, I think that's biblical. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already loving like the interior of like how clean I can make it. Oh, it's so not, these are aftermarket. No, I know, but like it's not like weird, like you know, 35 GTR like bulky things coming out. Oh, it's all like, the stitching? Yeah, yeah, all this. It's like something I can clean. I, yeah, that's kind of driving me crazy right now. This? This looks like a foreskin on a handbrake. Like, it, it's this isn't stock. Sam, don't ruin it for me. <laughs> this is my car. It does. Look at it. Shut up. But it does. No. Look at it. No, I'll have to paint it or something. No, you can just take this off. This is a cover. I call this the handbrake foreskin. Shut up. That's <laughs> what it looks Shut like. Shut up. I'm trying to do a review on the car and you just ruin it by saying it looks like a foreskin? It does though! Shut it up! Does it not? Get out of my car! <laughs> We're back at the shop now. Move the car inside. I wanted to get a bit more B-roll of the car and whatnot. You happy? <laughs> no words. <laughs> oh, before I forget, I wanted to show you guys. There's literally like a stump peg here. All right, see that? That's cool. So your foot, when it's here, is like level with the clutch, so it's faster for you to go between the two. That's why. Yeah, I really yeah. like it. It feels really good. Makes it like faster. So uh, definitely the whoever owned this before us was into this. Yeah. Definitely into this car and really enjoyed it. Like, it's insane how much like it was so looked easy after. to. It looked after and so easy to drive this thing. Right? Yeah, it's amazing. And then like, what was it? Like it was 2002 that was born. 2012. 12 that was registered, right? Yeah. It's only, it's ten, been 10 years. 10 years old. And this condition, like, of mm. interior is like... Yeah, like 10 years is pretty long for a newish car. And like you can see all of the history here of when it was all last serviced and maintained. Yeah, it's well, really good. So you look, if you look at your Z and then this one, it's yeah. like the same amount of time, but like... Yeah, no, definitely. Yay. The interior has been very well looked after on and this, you can see. So comfy too. Yeah, they're all clean too. Really clean. Yeah. It doesn't smell. It doesn't That's true. Mold. I was thinking about putting uh, an air freshener in there for you, but I know that uh, May doesn't like a lot of like the air fresheners in Japan. They're like too strong. Yeah. She wants something nice and subtle. Yeah, very subtle. Has yeah. To be very subtle. <laughs> but yeah, look at that. Brand new car for the missus. I'm happy. Are you happy? I'm very happy. <laughs> so, guys, tell me what I should name it. Oh yeah, we need to work out a name for this car. It's not Swifty. Okay. Deal.
<laughs> so with that guys, smash that like button, write a comment and subscribe. If you had the opportunity, what car would you buy for your wife or what car have you bought for your wife to surprise her? Um, I definitely think we've got the brandy points for at least a year now. So thanks for watching guys, peace out. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Peace out, jump on the bike. <laughs>